Hello and welcome to the first digital clinic from the North Metro Model Railroad Club. I am Big Steve and if you've been watching the layout tour videos you know me already or if you're a member of North Metro you know me as the car department chairman. Now I get a lot of questions uh, in regard to tuning up freight cars and getting stuff to behave right so I wanted to do a video where I just kind of talk about that. Um, I'll show the typical procedures we use for getting cars to behave on the club as well as they're the same procedures I use myself. So let's get into it. Now right off the top, just a quick primer, uh, North Metro Club, like many other clubs, uses a color-coded bad order slip system. These slips are sized properly to fit into the car card pockets that we have. Um, it's just a quick little indicator to myself or Mike or whomever is doing car department stuff. Just a nice little tell as to what kind of work we can expect, what tools we should grab, what glues we might need. Just kind of a heads up little trick there. And of course, a good description of the problem written on the slip definitely helps us immensely. Now starting from the ground up, uh, this is one of my personal, like, quick and easy fixes to uh, quite a few problems. Um, loosen up your truck screws. At least on one truck of your freight car. There's some theories behind this. They call it the three-point suspension. I do subscribe to it. Uh, loose truck screws allow your trucks to pivot easier, turn, uh, make turns better, uh, not bind in some cases, and they can rock back and forth as needed. There's a lot of little bumps in your track that your trucks need to be able to deal with. This helps with that immensely. Coupler trip pins. This is a nice little tweak to help uh, your cars deal with grade crossings and uh, switches, diamonds, stuff like that. Now we at North Metro use magnets in the track, kind of the old school method for hands-free uncoupling. We don't like having to reach into the layout, and in some places we can't reach into the layout. It's just that deep. So we need those magnets. Now, me personally, when I install new couplers, by the way, all of our cars, KD couplers are required. Now when I install new couplers on my cars, and especially on the club cars, I generally tweak the KD trip pins just a little bit. I like them kind of at a 90 degree, sort of a 90 degree angle. I mean, it's rounded, but I like the, the end of the trip pin to be parallel with my track, if that makes sense. That helps prevent a lot of problems. So now metal wheels. Um, it is a rule at North Metro that all club owned cars Anything that lives on the layout should have metal wheels. Um, we typically go with the intermountain wheels. Um, for a time, those weren't available. They've recently come back. Um, quick note on those. The newer production intermountain wheels I've seen, they come out of the box. Like, the gauge is weird on those. So if you have some of the newer ones, definitely make sure you have an NMRA gauge first. And definitely check the gauge on the, them things. Um, I've had three boxes of them so far, and they've all been kind of weird. Um, as far as adjusting the gauges, or the, the gauge of your wheels, there there's a tool to help spread the wheels. I don't have one of those. I'm kind of, I haven't done it enough to need one of those tools yet. I just use my, uh, my fingers. Um, the way I do it is I, I grab one wheel with each hand and I kind of twist them apart ever so slightly. It, it's just a little bit of a of a nudge on the wheels to spread them apart. Um, check your gauge as you go for sure and uh, once you hit that good point uh, go ahead and slap them on the car or get them in there. Also it is worth pointing out brand new wheels give them a good cleaning when you're done. They come from the factory with some stuff on them on the wheel tread It'll grab all the dirt it can. Make sure you clean that off. So 
So now this is kind of a controversial topic, believe it or not. Um, car weight. This subject gets really tricky, really sticky, really iffy for some people. Weight is a very kind of fine-tuning sort of thing. Um, most people, in my experience, adding weight to their freight cars, they add way too much. You don't need to go overboard with it. If you do go overboard with your car weight, you're going to be putting extra wear on not only your track, but your wheels, your couplers, your locomotives. Everything is going to take on extra wear for no reason. Uh, a car does not need to weigh a pound in HO scale. It just doesn't. Um, the... <laughs> Part of what has held me up with making this video is how to explain this part. This, like I said, this gets tricky. The rough formula I've calculated between North Metro and my collection is I go for about an ounce per inch of car. So if it's a four inch long car, I want four ounces. And what I'm doing in front of you here is uh, I use uh, an adhesive called E6000. You can find that in Walmart or Michaels. Uh, I go for the clear stuff. Either way, it doesn't matter. Regular strength is fine. I'm actually gluing some typeset keys into that thing, like off an old typewriter. And you can see on the scale, I brought that car up to a, just about four ounces. A pretty easy fix on this car. His roof pops right off. If you have a car that is completely sealed shut, it gets a little more tricky. Um, I will show some alternatives here in just a second. Right now, we're just comparing uh, a couple other box cars I have in front of me. There's a, a 50 foot uh, plug door box right there. He's about five ounces acceptable to me and then I have a, uh, a blue box I believe Atherin blue box 40 footer here he's about four ounces just about perfectly fine for that car now if you have flat cars or gondolas stuff gets a little more tricky um if you're that clever sort of type that can make uses out of weird stuff, car weight on flat cars and gons, open cars, this is the perfect time to play with different kinds of loads. It's so like here I got some steel plates. You could throw that in. Paint them up, ideally. Throw them in as a, a metal load. That, you know, totally cool. Now, one uh, material we like to use around North Metro is lead buckshot. I believe this is number four buckshot. Comes in very handy in your smaller cars, flat cars and tank cars. Otherwise, at home, I like to use uh, lead or steel wheel weights from uh, auto parts stores. Those are extremely useful. Now to kind of wrap the video up, I'll do a quick walkthrough on one of my Northern Pacific reefers here. I just bought this, both of those cars, I just bought them the day of filming this. So these are brand new out of the box. <clears throat> so right away I got it on my uh, workbench track, checking the coupler height. Coupler height is good for me. It is handy if you have two gauges, check both at the same time. Coupler height's looking good to me, rolls freely. Uh, the weight on these cars, this is uh, Atherin ready to roll, standard factory, the weight is pretty good out of the box. And uh, the only thing that these cars need is just a little t loosening of the uh, truck screws. Especially, uh, that is very important on these longer cars. And 
And we're repeating the process again with the second one. Free rolling, good coupler height. Coupler height seems to be good. Checking the trucks. Again, we will loosen up one of the truck screws. Now, as you can see, I'm not doing it a lot, just a little bit, just a little bit of looseness on that truck to help this thing uh, get that three point suspension. Well, that'll do it for this video. I hope it was worth watching. Uh, I hope I was able to teach something, some neat little trick to uh, help you get through some problems in the future. Um, the next video I do like this will be specifically about Walther's passenger cars. I get a lot of questions about those and I really have been wanting to address them. So uh, you'll get to see a little bit of my, uh, my flagship train, my 1955 Hiawatha. We'll come out to play to demonstrate for that a little bit. So again, thank you for watching this car department clinic video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Big Steve signing off.